Guys, today I'm going to show you my experience from Fright Night 2022 at New York Comic Con. Elvira was there, Run DMC performed, they revealed a whole bunch of new products that are coming soon, and we also got a ton of exclusive goodies to show off. Here we go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel for a very special video. I was very lucky to have the opportunity to attend the Fright Night Party at NYCC. I want to give a big shout out to Rock and Roll and the person that sold us the tickets for retail. We had an amazing time and today we're going to break down all the footage and everything that happened at Fright Night 2022. So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy the footage. This 
life full of fun and surprises and frightful, freaky, weird, crazy stuff. Tonight, we will create, I, no we, will create a Fright Night Freddy there in that pop laboratory. So as you guys could probably see, it was packed and the only bummer about Fright Night is that we unfortunately had to stand for a very long period of time. We had to wait for about 90 minutes to get into the hall um, in the top floor of the Javits Center and then unfortunately we did have to stand for the entire four hour event and although they did a really good job with shuffling us around and uh, putting on a great show standing for four hours definitely took a toll on my feet and i was definitely feeling it after a very long day two that friday of nycc but i'm going to show off everything that i got from the event the first thing that i got was my proto and some of you guys may wonder i'm not a big prototype fan so i was actually planning on giving my prototype away after I went through the line and lo and behold I actually got a prototype Funko Soda that I am beyond excited to have. Check it out guys. We actually have the Captain America Proto and this isn't just any Captain America. This is the Captain America Soda Chase. I couldn't believe it. Out of all the protos that they were giving away, out of all the characters that I could possibly get, not only did I get a soda proto, I happened to get my favorite character, which is Captain America. And on top of that, it happened to be the Chase. I was beyond hyped when I pulled it and uh, very excited to have this little guy permanently in the collection. No, he is not for sale. So many people have made me very generous offers but this is a nice keepsake from a great event that I had the opportunity to go to. The next item that I got was the item that I won for my team. There was four different teams and I was on the monster team and the item that I actually won is a future Funko Shop exclusive. So check it out, I was able to get the Skeleton Jack and Monster Taco two pack and uh, out of all four prizes that they gave away for each team, I think this was personally the coolest and uh, I know Joanna was very excited when she found out via Instagram Live that I was actually taking this one home. So very excited to have this one in the collection. And of course the big item that everybody got as soon as we walked into the door was this exclusive Fright Night box. Now just like the regular take home Fright Night boxes, there were a couple variations as far as the sodas, but as far as the pops, Everybody got pretty much the same thing. Although with these pops, they were way more limited than the regular Fright Night exclusive box ones. These were limited to only 1,600 pieces. So I'm gonna show off each pop that I did get from the event. It was so exciting getting to open the box live and everything, but here we go. This is the first pop that I have, and this is Freddy Funko as the They Live Alien. And um, this is a really interesting one. I'm not a big horror fan, so a lot of these Freddies are ones that I don't plan on keeping. However, some of them are already spoken for, and uh, I am gonna try to make some trades to try to get some other Freddies that I do need for my collection. The second pop that we have here is, once again, very limited, 1,600 pieces, and this is Freddy Funko as the Creep. And um, this is from the TV series. Once again, really cool mold. I'm actually gonna take this one out of box so you guys can get the full effect of this pop. Should've took the other one out of box too, but I will definitely take this one out of box because the, I can appreciate the mold on this guy. Even though it's not one I plan on keeping, it is very, very cool. I like how Freddy's face is the same color as his body and everything. And then the little book, if you guys can see, is actually in color. So pretty cool that they did that. And once again, 
of the most limited Freddies that we got this year, with it being only 1,600 pieces. The only bummer with this one, though, is it, because it was on top of the sodas, it did suffer a little bit of damage. They really could not figure out how to put that one pop on top of the sodas without it getting damaged. The third and final pop that I got in my box, I also got another big Freddy that I can't wait to show off. They definitely made us wait for it right up until the end of the night, um, but it was definitely well worth the wait. The third pop that we have here is Freddy Funko as Sam from Trick or Treat. And this one is pretty cute, I'm not gonna lie. It is a very cute Freddy. I say cute as if it's not like a horror character that I believe goes around doing pretty bad stuff, but I just like it when they make Freddy's face a different color, especially when it corresponds to the character. They gave him a gold crown right here, and um, yeah, just a really, really cool Freddy. I know a lot of people were very excited for the horror-themed Freddy characters, but now we're gonna move on to the sodas. So I got three sodas, just like everybody else. We got three pops and three sodas in each box, and uh, I'm not gonna open them because these three sodas are actually ones that I don't plan on keeping. However, they are still very cool and very limited. So the first soda that we have is the candy corn Freddy Funko as Spirit. And even though I am a big fan of the Spirit Freddy, um, I actually like the regular one a little bit more than this one. But this one is very limited, only 1,200 pieces. So the sodas at the event definitely did not disappoint as they were far more limited than a lot of the other sodas that they released. The next soda I got is actually only 800 pieces, believe it or not. And this is Freddy Funko as player 218 from Squid Game. Look at that, 800 pieces. How many sodas only have three digits on the side for their piece count? There's not many, so it was pretty crazy. Now these sodas, just like the other Fright Night ones, don't have chases. Uh, for those of you guys wondering, that is what the Freddy Funko as player 218 soda looks like. And then I did get one more soda. This was, once again, another candy corn soda, and this is Freddy Funko as the werewolf, and he, once again, is very, very limited, coming in at only 1,200 pieces. So, all very cool sodas, very cool pops, very fortunate to be one of the only 1,600 attendees. Um, the pops were limited to 1,600, there was only 1,600 available boxes and that was of course corresponding with the amount of tickets that they sold. Now they definitely crammed all 1600 of us in that room. Um, I kind of wish the room was a little bit bigger. It definitely would have allowed for uh, maybe some chairs, but maybe for next year they can add in some seating or do some kind of arrangement where we don't have to stand the entire time. That was definitely our number one complaint. So before I show you guys the big Freddy that I actually got from the event at the end of the night, I'm actually gonna show off a little clip of how they led up to revealing the giant Freddy and him, of course, coming out of the giant box display that they had on the stage, so check it out.
as most of you guys probably saw from photos that surfaced and little video clips and everything, yes, there was another Blacklight Freddy that found its way to the Fright Night event, and I could not be more excited to be adding this 1700 piece Blacklight Freddy to my collection. I think this one looks so good. The Fright Night Blacklight Freddy number two. And um, they definitely made us wait. There was a lot of build up the entire night until they finally revealed and made us scream out our lungs. And uh, they finally revealed the Big Freddy. So it's definitely worth the wait. I think it is super cool. I love the molds. And um, I'm actually really digging the black light on this guy. So check it out, guys. Here he is out of box. The black light Fright Night Freddy. I love the crack right down the middle of his skull. Um, the bow tie. I think the bow tie is such a fun bonus, even though he's like a black light skeleton. Uh, really just really cool Freddy. So this is one that is not going to be leaving my collection because I got it from the event. And uh, I met so many great people at the event. So shout out to everybody who came up and said hi and took some pictures. I'll be including those pictures at the end of this video so you guys can see. Um, those pictures and feel free. Um, I didn't get everyone's name So if you're watching the video and I did grab a picture with you Please let me know down in the comment section below All right So the last thing that we have to talk about is some of the big items that are coming soon that they actually revealed at the event so I'm not going to go over all of them, but there are a couple cool things that are going to be coming out very soon. So be on the lookout for this. So Elvira actually made an appearance at the event, which was so cool to see her in person. And they are coming out with an Elvira soda. Now this one is going to be 20,000 pieces. There isn't going to be any kind of crazy mold change, but from the brief picture that they flashed on the screen, it was very quick. They put up pictures of some of the new items um, and some of the stuff coming out and then boom, they took it away. But she is gonna have a red dress chase and it does look like she's holding um, something in her hand. I really couldn't tell what it was but the chase is gonna be her in her red dress. So that is pretty cool. Uh, first Elvira soda, they have made several Elvira pops, so it is definitely cool to see her in soda form. They also flashed a few more pops coming from Black Panther Wakanda Forever, and I have to say that out of the five pops that they put up on the screen very quickly, my favorite one has to be Namor on the Orca. That one just looks really cool. And uh, if it's not too, too big, I definitely would love to grab that and put it on my display out of box with all my other Marvel pops. And I'm really looking forward to Black Panther Wakanda Forever. I think the movie is gonna be amazing. They also revealed, speaking of Black Panther, that there is going to be a Black Panther die cast with a chance at a chase from the brief picture that they flashed, and I apologize for the quality of these photos, guys, that I was able to take. It was super quick. The chase is going to be similar to all the other die cast chases where it is silver. And the other big item that I wanted to talk about, and we are gonna be discussing this further in depth in another video, they are coming out with yet another three liter soda. We couldn't get through New York Comic Con without them letting us know that there is yet another three liter soda on the horizon. However, this one is actually one that I'm very excited for. There's going to be a very limited one. It's gonna be 5,000 pieces, and this is the three liter Hulk. I'm really digging the chase though. It's gonna have a red Hulk chase, and that chase is only gonna be 800 pieces. So very limited chase, which I'm excited about. And I think out of all the characters, uh, in the Marvel Universe, Hulk definitely deserves to have a three liter chase just based on his size proportion compared to all the other characters. So Juggernaut and Hulk are going to look very good on the shelf side by side if you are a Marvel collector and you want to get both of these sodas for your collection. They did reveal some other stuff. There was another Demon Slayer wave that was um, revealed that a lot of people went nuts for. There was some Wednesday Adams pops that they flashed up on the screen very quickly, as well as a Run DMC 
pop album which a lot of people were very excited for and of course this is going to be exclusive to walmart and after they revealed this it was really cool because run dmc actually came out and performed live at the event which was so cool to see in person so that's pretty much it guys that was my experience at fright night 2022 um hopefully you guys enjoyed the video let me know down below in the comments section what was your favorite item out of all the stuff that i showed off and are you excited for any of the items that we just briefly talked about. Once again, I want to give a huge shout out to all the people that came up and said hi. It was truly great getting to meet so many other content creators, uh, whatnot streamers, as well as other collectors in the community. Always a really you know awesome treat to be able to put faces to names. And we definitely look forward to hopefully going back to Fright Night next year as they did announce at the event that they are planning on doing it again in a different style fashion and a much bigger audience. So there's definitely gonna be more tickets next year and we look forward to hopefully maybe going and seeing more great people there. But most important, hoping for chairs. Otherwise I'm gonna have to bring my own lawn chair and I'll sit in the back because it was brutal after standing for so long. Also, special thank you to Rock and Row. Truly made the experience, just took it to a whole different level. Uh, if you guys don't know Rock and Row, he has a YouTube channel of his own. Definitely go check him out and subscribe. Um, I was very blessed that he actually took me as his plus one. Could have sold the ticket for a lot of money, but uh, he and I are very good friends, and uh, I was very fortunate to have that experience with him. It definitely made the event that much more special. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and as always, don't stop shooting until you score. We'll see you all very soon.